So today we are going to make some uh, quesadillas from scratch using um, masa harina, which is a flour made from corn, which has basically been soaked in lime and not this kind of lime, sort of a um, slaked lime. Um, and the reason that Mexicans or Latin Americans have been doing this for centuries is because it uh, breaks down the corn, helps it so it's easier to digest um, and it makes it tastier. So uh, we're going to be making fresh tortillas then fry them into something called quesadillas, which is uh, when you fold a tortilla or roll it and stuff it with something and then fry it. So I've got, yeah, polenta, masa, ghee, a bit of cumin and salt. And then we're going to go in with some hot water and then just melt that ghee down. At this point, I just get in with my hands because spoons are just slow you down, really. There we go. Um, so that's the kind of texture we're going for. And you can, I don't know if you want to smell it, but you can smell that sort of oh, yeah. corniness coming through. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite smells in the world. Oh. See, um, the water gets absorbed as, as the masa sits, so it kind of gets drier. So kind of happy with that now. So what we're gonna do is put him to sleep for a minute and that's gonna rest for about 20 minutes and then we're all gonna have a go pressing them. So next thing we're gonna do is talk about chilies. So I've got a bunch of different chilies here. These ones at the front are habanero. So they're really, really sm uh, fruit, smruti? fruity and smoky um, and just lovely. And then we've got jalapenos here, uh, which are also Mexican scotch bonnets, which are from Jamaica and the Caribbean. Um, we've got guajillo chilies, which are kind of much sort of, I'd say medium to mild spice. Um, and then we've got ancho chilies, which again are about medium spice and they're quite fruity. So if anyone's interested, come and have a look. So like I said, we're making quesadillas with cheese and we're just gonna have some chopped spring onions on the side. And then we're gonna char some of those chilies and make a little honey that we can drizzle on top. So I'm just going in with these spring onions with oil and salt, that's it. So I'm just gonna let those grill for a little bit. For the honey, I'm gonna use some milder chilies. So I'm gonna go in just with a selection. We're gonna just literally char these for a couple of minutes on each side, but maybe going by that fire, maybe one minute. We're also going to char some lime. And that's gonna, that charred lime flavor is gonna be really nice in the honey. There we go. This fire is pretty intense, so I'm going to give these spring onions another few minutes and then I'm going to stick them up here just over the residual heat. Cooking on fire is something that I want to learn more about and get better at. It's definitely not. Don't, don't ask me for any tips. <laughs> I'm just heating this honey down. Once it's melted and sort of warm and runny, then I'll add all these bits to it and kind of just let them do their thing. Um, you know, if you want more intense heat, you could slice them open um, and then just gonna let them sit and give them a squeeze while we make the tortillas. So, once you've let the dough rest and the water's kind of been absorbed in, you wanna prepare a tea towel that's gonna sort of cover your balls once you separate them. That's kind of the size you want. Um, and what you wanna do when you're rolling it is make sure that there aren't any surface cracks because if there are, then once you go to press it, you're gonna get cracks around the edges. Does anyone want to press tortillas? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so, like I said, make sure there's no surface cracks, and then you just put it in the middle, put this down, squeeze that over, and you should get yourself a really beautiful tortilla. If you don't have one of those presses, you can use a pan um, like a large heavy bottom pan and just yeah. push down. Um, quite often I forget to check if the pan has like a, an insignia on the bottom. So sometimes it will, it will print like Le Creuset on, um, on your tortilla. We're just, we're not gonna cook them for that long. So if we were making um, tortillas to have with tacos, we'd probably cook them a bit longer and try and get a little bit of color or char on them. But because we're, because we're gonna fill them and then fry them again, we don't wanna like cook them too much. So I'm just filling half of them 
with this amazing local Scottish cheese mix. So yeah, once that oil slash ghee is nice and hot, we'll just fry them until the cheese melts and we'll kind of flip them halfway through. And then you can come and top your quesadilla with either some chili honey or some habanero oil and then squeeze over some lime and hopefully it'll be a nice snack. So I'm just gonna finish them with salt and then come and grab one and then finish it with, I would personally recommend a combination of the honey and the habanero. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> I wish I had more.